it's election day. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Saren if you're new here and it is election day I am blind and I'm about to go and vote um, With my parents my polling card turned up to their house even though I haven't lived there in years Which is really odd It's a super busy day because obviously it is election day and I'm a journalism student And so I'm gonna bring you along with me all day um, And we're gonna be doing some really exciting stuff this evening when the count starts so uh, yeah, I'm really excited um, and I've got water bottle earrings in today. I need to go and get changed because um, I have a very stylish outfit of a skirt and a massive jumper, which is, is a bit odd. I'm not going to lie. Yes. So, um, yeah. <coughs> yeah, going back, we've already voted. We voted before we dropped my little brother off at school this morning. Um, so that's all done and it went so much better than last time because last time a tactile device that we stick onto the ballot paper and last time in the local election it was so old that it stuck so hard she couldn't get the the poll clerk couldn't actually peel the um, backing off to get the sticky exposed and she was pulling so hard that one of the like um, flaps fell off and then <laughs> So it didn't actually have a number five, and then um, the adhesive was so sticky that when I tried to rip it off, it ripped a load of the text off with me. My dad actually had to help me and double check, like, um, if it ripped my vote off or not, which was really stupid. And then also in our local election, we had three different ballot papers, and the tactile, um, the tactile device wasn't big enough. It only had like, I don't know, ten or twelve spaces, and they were like. I don't know how many candidates um but yeah it was absolute nightmare last night but they saw they saw me coming this time and they obviously had a new one because we used the last one in the last um election so a lot better but I was so disappointed because I had contacted the council to ask for um one of the new McGonagall readers because um They've been, like, promoted by the RNIB at the moment. Um, and they're basically the same thing as the tactile device that they have in the polling stations already. Um, but much better because you don't have to stick it in, you just slide it in. And also, when you pull back the tabs, it reads each candidate out to you. So I don't have to have somebody helping me. They said no, and I was so, so disappointed. I got really excited at the fact that I could literally do it myself. I could go in myself. And I didn't have to have any help. Um, but no, they said no, which is really annoying. But I'm going to email again now. The front of us are the uh, spotlight. It's now 10.59 and we've had a very productive morning, actually. Um, so my dad has helped me find out some of the like routes that I need to learn. Obviously, being blind, when I move to a new place, it can be quite nerve-wracking especially when it's like not somewhere I've really been before. Um, so we've just learnt a load of the new walking routes and there are some really nice ones. So now I know how to get to all of my like important places that I need to get to, like bus stops and things like that, because um, I have to learn them by memory. So it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Um, but yeah, really grateful that my dad could do that um, because I have a mobility trainer, but I haven't, um, actually seen him for ages because <laughs> I have a mobility trainer through uni but, he, but he's actually only allowed to teach me routes to do with uni so when I first had him I wanted to learn to get to our like local Tesco or our local Lidl um, and he wasn't allowed to show me that which just seems really really stupid because I thought the whole idea was that they they helped me learn all my routes but yeah so, um, luckily my dad, my dad knows what he's doing <laughs> with that kind of stuff. So it's all sorted. What he does is kind of, we walk the route and, um, he tells me sort of the kind of landmarks that I can look out for, like, um, certain fences in certain areas and like manhole covers. So we like count the manhole covers and like, um, bollards and things. So I know where I am. Um, 
because that really helps me learn my route because I still have some vision left and um, so I can use that a little bit but obviously everything's quite um I don't have much detail vision <laughs> I don't have much detail in my vision so a lot of places look exactly the same to me because they're the same sort of colors so learning routes with tactile landmarks that I like tap with my cane um is really really useful and that's how I get around basically I do also pretty much always use google maps on my phone and I wish they were better with walking and like told me where crossings and things are because that's always very useful but thanks dad <laughs> almost 11 o'clock and I'm about to head into counselling this is only my second session um so fingers crossed someone just walked past I am a terrible vlogger <laughs> um but yeah I have dinosaur shorts on um very very stylish um being the massive bruises on my legs you're a rock climber without telling me you're a rock climber in counseling session wish me luck got to actually cross the road first <laughs> <laughs> counseling was really good i'm now cooking i'm now cooking pasta but it turns out she was watching me as i ran over the road so she totally saw me vlogging but Oops, oh well. I don't think I'm that obvious. Like, I swear when I'm outside, I hold it like down here. You can all see my double chin. It wasn't meant to be like up here somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, next. Oh, Alexa, stop. Don't want to get copyrighted. Um, But yeah, next, I'm going to go and have a nap because we're going to be up because I got brownies and then I'm starting at uni at. 8.30 p.m. and we're finishing at 7 a.m. So it's going to be a long night. So I'm going to go and have a nap. Um, but I need to choose what to wear in a bit. So I have a mixture of um, pasta because I'm indecisive. So hopefully this is done in a second. What is your go-to pasta topping? I am not too keen on doing peas. If you voted today, I'm very proud of you. Well done. If you didn't, then maybe you're not in the UK, so I'm also proud of you, but... <laughs> now almost quarter past five, and I have just recorded a TikTok video about um, voting today and why people's votes do actually matter. Um, so I've just got to edit that, and then I need to get ready for brownies. Um, so I need to go find my uniform. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to record in a brownies meeting, but you can hear them. Of the election day vlog, we've been going since this morning. Susie's going to vote now because she forgot to put her postal vote in. <laughs> Oopsie. Yo, sushi picnic. We finished brownies and we did. Well, you didn't. You were there. We did 4th of July celebrations, which I'd totally forgotten was a thing in America. And they made little pom-poms, and then we had hot dogs, and they weren't hot dogs, they were sausages, but it was really good. So now we're going to get your sushi. Gyoza. I don't know if at the moment there's a... Chicken fries. Yeah. My favourite food in the universe. fries. Is it no. no. <laughs> fries, yo, fries, yo, Sweetest yo sushi manager we've ever come across. He sat us down and gave us free tea while we waited. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is not UK hospitality. Not it smells sushi. so good. I'm so hungry. I've got pasta in my bag for later today. So oh. now we're stuck behind some police horses, which you can hear. This is the world's massive, most. Anyway, chips, the best things in the universe that I've probably got all over my face. Okay. We've eaten most of them, but they're so nice. Will it open? It's locked. How do I get in? This is the the real question. Um. There's my ID. I've lost. This is the weirdest thing. It's 
episode. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. 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 Sorry, I'm late. Not the right here, okay? Yeah. Just dropping my blanket. <laughs> yeah, it was good actually. Hello. Okay. Yeah, you guys are here. Hello. Oh yeah. Get up your shirt or whatever you want to do. Yes. Um, you're going to be a relatively permanent guest. Until 11 p.m. election 2024 bulletin. I'm Sarah. And I'm Daisy, we're with you all tonight, looking at the 131 seats, hundreds of Tory MPs expected to lose their jobs. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> My hey, so between each bulletin, so I'm memorising the script snacks for that bulletin ready. and also <laughs> keeping up to date with the election results <laughs> coming out so we know what bulletin to put in our next number two. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We get ready about 15 minutes early so everything will stay on time. Oh, hang on, which way? Towards Daisy. My lovely co-presenter Daisy. Oh, you're going to be in my vlog, key, my election obviously I have vlog. to memorise my script, so <laughs> this is where we have a little bit of a practice. You've too. been in a TikTok before. I've been in so many bloody TikToks. I'm on my TikTok. I'm usually sometimes dressed as a dress. In a dress? I want to see this TikTok. We nailed it. charge, folks. You right, Becky? So we nailed our second bulletin of the night at 11pm so and this is the gallery to see what like goes on behind the scenes um, so with our lovely team. I'm also managing the Skype calls which is a lot more fun. Are you? And I get to count everyone in on the little Slay. microphone so you are everything runs because I say it does. Exactly. I am God um, she is God. in this studio. I literally don't even know how this works. I just... I this. know that there's a button that says black, and that's it. This is the TriCaster, um, so I preview everything on these ones, mm. and then this red one is the live, so I won't touch it, I'll ruin it. Um, <laughs> and then over here, we edit everyone's graphics, hey. so you've got all your names on here, so I put up your low third on there when you're talking. Hey, that's so um, cool. And we've got your mics on here. so. Becky directs, and I make the magic happen. And Ivor. Ivor's so important. She was just important. trying to take all the credit yeah. until I walked in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. suddenly had second thoughts. <laughs> yeah. It's the weirdest thing walking through this campus at night. It's actually quite creepy. Let me show you. It is 11.30 at night and we are still, still at uni. We're staying here until 6 a.m. Just look. You just think some, something's gonna jump out at you. <laughs> I'm sure scared I'm gonna like hit my mic with my hair and then all you're gonna hear is. Because I keep going like. <laughs> And welcome to our Midnight Election 2024 Bulletin. I'm Seren. And I'm Daisy. We've now got our first real result. It's definitely going to go to the Lib Dems, according to the poll. Well, well that's about it for the moment. Catch up with us again at 1am for another election update. Goodbye. Goodbye. We have to wait for the all clear in the gallery before we can move or talk. So this bit looks really weird. But there we go, we nailed it. Pardon? <laughs> No, not really. I'm actually googling flushed away rats, but yeah. Don't they look like seen up in the star? Yeah. Okay, for my blind and visually impaired followers, yeah, can you give me an audio description? 
Right, of so... Rishi it all just because of rats or of Sunak and Starmer? Uh, well, you've said they look the same, so... They do look the same, I suppose. They're on the screen, um, you do the rats. <laughs> I would say, like, I just, as I just said to Sarah, uh, Keir Starmer, I think, looks like he sounds. Um, and I think if any of you have, have seen Flushed Away, he reminds me of the rat that breaks into Roddy's house, but a bit cleaner and tidier. He's got a comb over, um... I don't think he's particularly tall. He doesn't appear tall in any of the uh, small. in any of the um, videos. Well, can you start sticking us into? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is so what, not what I meant to be doing. What is it like? Almost two a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's nearly twenty. I'll show you what I'm. What you're saying? Yo. Yeah. Um. What? Too much energy. Yes. How many monsters have you had now? I've had like a sip. <laughs> I've had two. A sip, yeah, <laughs> sure. <Okay>. Good luck. Huh? <laughs> 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 Is that the wrong side? <laughs> <laughs> Who's aunt? Who's dead? <laughs> she would be so ashamed. Me introducing as usual. <laughs> per yes, usual I am. Yes, you're hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Three a.m. That's they're pretty on time, aren't they? Like this was one of the coolest the parts of the night was really? when all the election results were coming out and we were seeing That's them really live, cool. and I had literally never done anything like this before. Oh. I forgot to put in a <laughs> What happened? Is the outfit today? I know. The hat, literally. I would face. say it's at least 20 centimetres out from her face. <laughs> and it's covered in this huge plume of white feathers. Literally, you can see from the nose down. What? Uh, so it's like a black hat with feathers on the front. It's hideous. Ooh, see, I wanna be. I mean, it is E. So I'm not doing very well. I feel like this isn't a word, so. <laughs> Um, I can't see, I can spell. <laughs> Maybe I can't spell. <laughs> see? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm dying at this. He's, he's had a rough time as your hangman. <laughs> Was he quartered first? Can I have one as a treat? Where's the last line? Is that a Y? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I've got EY as the last two letters. Yeah. H. Oh, stop being mean to me. <laughs> now he has two. <laughs> he looks like he's he's dunking a basketball with a severed limb. <laughs> I think you're just writing letters and drawing lines. I think... I think I've done two arms and two legs, but I haven't done the little cross bars yet. Okay. <coughs> Has it got, like, some rogue letters in there? Uh, not, not any weird ones. P. <laughs> D. Oh, yeah. Ed Davey. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sick. <laughs> that took me no time at all. First try, Ed Davey. Let's just get closer for that man. Hang on. So he's got a, a cane because clearly blind. It's, been it's really abstract, <laughs> and I think my favourite part about it is the F is in the structure of the hang. <laughs> Break number two. Number three. Oh, yeah. that's ten energy drinks, man. Turn Okay, go back into the creepy, creepy. Have you, like, looked in reception? It's so nervous. It's so it? creepy. There's a shot I got of, um, of the stairs to the, like, I don't know what it's called, but the, you know, you know the Oh, the area. teaching centre bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually kind of want to go look, not gonna lie. If there is well, ever... Well, I'm not look, I'm not good at looking, but... If there is ever a place to think evil to start running out of the dark, it's not. <laughs> it's no, thank you. Is that is that what the to where the toilets were going to is? Uh, sort of. It's not really under dark. the stairs. It's fine. I'm not very superstitious, but 
Huh? <laughs> I've only got that one you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you, you're armed, so... Woo! Yeah, just look at that. That's a bit spooky. Spooky. It's, what, 3am? Almost 4 It's so weird. What the fuck? I'm walking away, I'm walking away. <laughs> I feel like when you know those YouTube videos, yeah. it's like locked in. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I wonder what the um, lecture. Oh, I bet it's scary. <laughs> I don't really want to go in, actually. That's... I think I've changed my mind. Yeah. Nope, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a ghost yeah. Such a shit Ghostbuster. World's well, shittest <laughs> Ghostbuster. <laughs> At least these lights are on. Yeah. Otherwise, I would be sprinting down here. Imagine just like a goose <laughs> popping oh, up would out be. there. That like... would be at this. <laughs> this is the kind of place a goose would fly. Yeah. Maybe they like hide in here at night. Because this balcony above us is creepy as fuck. It's just so echoey. Any like echoey and dark, I don't really think it's too bad. At least people are still in halls. So yeah. yeah. It's not yeah, ours. you should get that when you're in here on your own. People that you live like meet at the way. Literally. We made it back to safety. Back behind our safety. Not gonna wool. get killed by those like quiet place monsters just <laughs> yet. Because oh, be so I can't. Bad in the quiet place. I want Tourette's in a. <laughs> I'd be eating dead instantly. I'm not. I'll just put a notification noise in your head. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Oopsie. Keep going. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here we go. <laughs> Can you tell how many monsters she's had now? It's just the ADHD. <laughs> Does caffeine make you sleepy though? Kinda, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I've got this idea. But I'm vibing. Yeah, we've got this. You've got all the cables and stuff in there. The personality is already lost 58 seats. 58? 3.30 in the morning and they've lost 58. 488 seats left to count and they've lost 58. Bloody hell. We've lost all our lives now. We've got Amy still. Yeah. Then we were listening out to see which of the major conservative candidates were winning or losing in their constituencies, which was really stressful. It is almost 6 a.m. and bright outside again, so much less creepy. Lots of um, conservatives have lost their seats. So 22, almost to our, almost to our last broadcast. Um, so let's go back. Memorizing the last script. I'm not. No, I'm not. I am. I just scroll. Scroll. I just, well, it's kind of scrolling. It's just listening. It's been a night of drama in Gloucestershire. <laughs> 
Last one, last one, last one, last one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's light outside. No. When I went to the loo, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's light outside. It's yeah. crazy light. Go look through the yeah. edit suite. Yeah. Um, it's window. insane how bright it is. I forget that's how like daytime works. Yeah. Like if it's night long like enough, the... it starts not being night anymore. You have to go to sleep for The, the yeah. earth like has breath. spun enough for the sun time. to go from one side to the Dead other, and now we can see it again. What the fuck? Oh, Sienna will be thrilled. Oh, Dudley's laser. Big up the Sienna. Slay. I'm still waiting for... Drake Witch. We've come to the conclusion that although at least the Tories didn't get in, the only good thing about this is the fact that Larry the cat will be happy that Keir Starmer only has a hamster and not any dogs. Larry for Prime Minister. Do you know, he's been one of the most stable MPs this past. He's cheap. Literally. Pastor. And he, do you know what? Is he the only one that's not let us down? Mm-hmm. I'd vote for him every time. Mm-mm. Me either. Feeling last bulletin. Feeling great. Woo. Feeling fresh. Feeling great. Fresh, I think. Maybe might not be the word for that, but... Welcome to our 6am election 2024 bulletin as the new day dawns with a new Prime Minister. I'm Seren. And I'm Mel. It's been a night of drama in Gloucestershire as Conservatives lose Cheltenham, Gloucester, Stroud and Shrewsbury. Across the country, Labour has swept to victory and will now form this country's next government. Um, and Richard Sunak is now on a plane about to leave for London, ready to give off his house and move out and make way for new Prime Minister, Sir Keir Starmer. That's all for now and all for the night. Thank you for joining us this historic night. We're off to get some sleep. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, thank you. You did most of that. Yeah, you, did <laughs> you get the credit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Bye-bye. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. Yeah. We're finished. We did it. Yeah. We did it. Yay. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Paul, say bye to the vlog. <laughs> I didn't even know what you just did, but. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Like a Roblox animation. <laughs> Stop and <don't>. go. <laughs> <laughs> I know what about it. We have found the captain's cat. Well, we always used to look It's 7.45 and we are back home. Um, it's been a crazy one. Such a, such a cool um, evening, morning. I've never done anything like that before it was so cool um you pro there probably will never be another vlog like this that was that was slightly crazy and we've been losing more and more track of time as we've gone on because our lecture and Paul is leaving it was a good sort of like send off last last event with him and um, so yeah i i literally can't even think now um how do you do a youtube outro i don't know um but yeah thank you so much for watching um and if you voted i'm very proud of you well done um but yeah thanks for so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you liked bye